Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how can we use our customized image or icon in the navigation menu. Usually, Apex will provide some set of icons which can be used. But in this case, what I am going to do like I just created some custom table based on the inputs from the custom table. As an end user or a developer can dynamically change their menu icons or images. For example, in the left side, you can able to see home reports form, right? So here I just added some table. Okay. So I have downloaded some six different kind of uh, images in the PNG format. I have downloaded those images in this website. Okay. So here I am what I'm going to do like I'm just going to change the icon. So the icon one PNG has been already uploaded in the shared components application files. Okay. Click save. Okay. Now I'm going to refresh this page. Now in the home icon or home image can be will get changed. So now you can able to see right. So I'm going to explain how can I achieve this before into that. What will be the default method like? Okay. So when you are trying to create an application or any page, you can able to see those icons. These are the inbuilt icons provided by Apex. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to clearly explain. Uh, there are two types of methods. How, will, how can we dynamically change the icons one is the static method is nothing but uh, we need to upload some set of icons in the shared components after that we need to use some kind of css in the static manner and put it in the page inline section that is the one approach and second approach is we need to create some custom table in the custom table we need to load all the uh, labels parent labels as well as uh, our shared components uploaded image names as well as image class okay and uh, when you are trying to uh, create any navigation menu the sequence will come as m1 m2 m3 m4 okay uh, so here what i am going to create like is first i will explain you how can you use the static icons okay so for that i am i am going to click the home page report page okay so here what i am going to do like i am just going to add some custom image menu okay so for custom image menu i have created some sql query based on the that custom our object like dynamic tabs so this is our custom table okay so now you can able to see there is no uh, images or icons has been found here okay so what i am going to do like edit page going to copy this code and paste in the inline section click ok save refresh so now you can able to see three icons right so here i have used in the static manner for example m1 will be considered as icon 1 icon 2 icon 3 okay okay this is a static method and next thing is dynamic method so dynamic method is nothing but already i have explained i need to create some custom table based on the custom table i bring those icons okay uh, so how do i achieve this okay so this is the table so based on the table i have created some customized dynamic content for example here i have just created one new region as a type as pls equal dynamic content okay so based on the uh, dynamic uh, based on our in, uh, table structure i i have dynamically created the styles then nothing but our css tags so for example in this table if you are trying to add another tab you can 
you simply you have to refer your uh, shared component uploaded image and you have to refer your class okay and also you can able to dynamically change that so for example i will do that you here you can see like home reports form dynamic menu right so here i am just going to give us 21 20 this will I call as 22 this will be 3 save okay now you can able to see uh, these icons okay once I have refreshed the entire images have been uh, changed so now you can able to see right 1 2 3 4 okay in case if you want to change the another image okay so what I, for example i'm just going to download uh, one image from here okay click download if you are going for the long image you need to set the uh, style with height and all okay so here i'm just uh, going for the png free image and custom size is 13 to 30 okay i just click the download I set it as icon 55 or something. Click save. So this is download as a PNG image. Okay. What I'm going to do, like I'm going to upload it to the shared components. Static application files. Create file. Icon 55. Click OK. Create. Okay. So next thing is what I am going to do like first I need to change the custom image custom menu sorry custom image menu it is already there this uh, menu is the SQL query coming from the table okay so what I am going to do like I'm just going to alternate this image. Okay. So, for example, uh, in the home page, right, I'm just copy this static application files and our icon image is this is the name. Correct. So, I just copy this and I'm going to paste this. Click save. Now, I'm going to refresh this. So now you can able to see the image has been dynamically changed here. Okay. Uh, in case if you want to add a new menu, okay. For example, I just adding one new menu, uh, giving us uh, test one or something, calling us a page number one. Okay. And I just going to use some other icons as one. Okay. Here I am just defining the position as M5. Click save. So now I am going to refresh this. So automatically you can see like test one has been created and the image also has been uh, shown in the navigation menu. And while developing this, I just faced one kind of challenge. So let me explain that also. In the dynamic formation of the PLSQL content it's a very simple PLSQL block okay so here when I just use this direct images you need to cross check this point okay click save so This is the format we need to show. Okay. Uh, the same table we need to store like this format. Okay. So then only the Apex will recognize it is directly fetching from the shared components. Okay. So this is a this is my table structure and data has to be like this. So I hope uh, it will be uh, useful uh, to you. Uh, so in case if you anyone need this code i will uh, prepare kind, some kind of script and uh, put it in the description box you can download it uh, from there so i hope you have liked this video thank you so much for watching